spring we tend to get a lot of rainfall and rainfall is very favorable for fungal diseases that cause leaf spots and blotches. So I'm gonna talk specifically about uh, a problem on grape, but really this information can be applied to other plants in your landscape that might have similar leaf spots or blotches. So one of the things about the spring with having a lot of moisture is fungi like moisture. And where do we find fungi in our house, in our shower, under the sink? And so we have a wet environment, very favorable for them. To reduce fungal diseases, one of the first things to do is when you bring home new plants, make sure that they're healthy. Uh, that's often the way that people introduce new diseases into their landscape. So take some time to look those plants over and make sure they're healthy. Uh, when you do bring them home, uh, plant them in an area that's proper. So plenty of sunlight and good air circulation. For this grape crop, we know that we have a history of seeing a disease called black rot on these plants. And so I start to scout for that disease in the spring, about the time I start to see the blooms on the grapes. And if you just look at these plants, you probably don't really even notice the disease. And that's often the mistake people make. You really need to inspect the plants open up the foliage and start in the lower parts of the plant because that's where we're going to see the disease first. There's a lot more moisture uh, in the lower part and fungi need that moisture. When you're, we can't control rainfall, but when you are irrigating, be sure that you're watering the roots rather than the foliage. We don't want to have a lot of wet surfaces on those plants. If you are using a sprinkler, be sure that you're using that sprinkler early in the day so the canopy can dry out as quickly as possible. If you water late in the day, this is going to stay wet all night long. And fungi make what are called spores. They're kind of like seeds and they germinate in water. So if there's free moisture on these leaves, they can start new infections. Uh, so another good thing to do is a lot of our plants in Oklahoma are a lot more vigorous than they need to be, which means we have a lot more leaves than we need to make a good grape. <laughs> and so these leaves are all intertwined opening them up, trying to cause them to, to grow outward so that air can flow through this canopy and actually selectively movie, removing some of these vines. We don't need this much material. I'm not growing leaves, I wanna grow fruits. And so don't be afraid to cut off some parts of the plant that we don't need because it's going to open that canopy so we have less disease. If you do find leaves that have spots, right now I don't have very many, so I can take a pair of scissors or just pull the leaves off and be sure to throw that debris that potentially has spores in it in the trash rather than your compost pile. We have a fact sheet on non-chemical methods of controlling plant diseases, which is a great resource. It covers some of the other things that I haven't even talked about. If you want a 100% blemish-free crop, you may end up needing to use a fungicide, but by using a lot of those non-chemical methods, often you can get a very good crop without ever touching a pesticide. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. 